Did you know the DJ in my name stands for dad jokes? Now you do. Hey, hey guys, it's your boy DJ Hard Logic here, coming at you with another episode from the Java Survival Minecraft server, episode 48. And as you can see, I just finished mining a whole bunch of minerals, not minerals, ores, and I actually got quite a lot of diamonds, a whole lot more than I expected for doing a double session of, of mining. Usually I just do one of these strips, which is a full 64 torches all the way down until I run out, plus however many it takes to get to until I can't go any further without mobs potentially spawning and then i did that twice so i'll go back up to the cruiser and see how much we actually get where's my pick i put it in one of these no no No, where did I put it? I don't usually put it anywhere else. Uh, I don't think it'd be over here. It might be with the other tools. I put it in here. No. Those are the books, which I actually need to put away. I don't think it's in any of these. No. Any more of the tools? Nope. No. Is this, oh, that does have fortune on it. But that's not... Where's my netherite pickaxe? Oh. By the way, I went exploring in some of the new chunks, because... Every time there's a new update with new biomes and whatnot, we expand the border a little bit. And so I actually found a couple of these. I found one of these on the first try, which was really weird because I thought they were kind of rare. And I guess they still kind of are. But also the other one I found in a lukewarm ocean biome, which I thought those were, they were only warm, specifically warm ocean biomes. But that's definitely not my pickaxe. Where's, do I even have anything down here? I don't. I don't know where I put it. Did I look in here? I did now, but it's not there. Well, I guess I'll just set that aside for now with the other ores that I just kind of throw into a box and forget about. Nope. Nope. There they are. And uh, I guess I'll come back to it later. That's a bummer. I was really wanting to see how much I got. I do need to repair my normal pickaxe. I think I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. They can't reach me if I do this. I don't know why, but they can't. Anyways, I'm going to go fix my pickaxe real quick. Ooh, this is new. I mean, the portal's not, but it didn't used to look like this. That's kind of nice. But in today's episode, we're going to be working on the escape room. For real this time. And like I mentioned in the last episode, before I decided to do what I did, this is going to be done in just kind of time skips or, and uh, jump cuts and whatnot and not a whole lot of time lapses because that makes for a pretty short episode. And I do like making somewhat longer content. So I'll go figure out what I need, and then I'll get building. So I've just ran out of concrete, and I was off by five. I was, I just, I was needing five. And uh, I figured this would be a pretty good point to uh, catch you guys up. So it, the escape room is going to be like a uh, med, med bay, medical bay. And this is going to be like the operating room. These will be doors, so this will be the exit. This will be um, the door to the... Uh, uh, recovery room. This is going to be to the clean room. And then this is going to be to the laboratory where most of the escape room actually will be taking place. And 
I think what I'm going to do is just build up all of the exterior and then do the redstone after that. That makes sense to me. It doesn't have to make sense to you because you're not the one building this. And so I think I'm just going to keep on keeping on until... Um, at least until the build, like the the walls and, and ceiling are up. Maybe it might not be as decorated as this room because this room is basically complete, more or less, besides uh, a couple of hanging signs, I think. I do want to show that there is, there or like, there are rules. You can pause this to read through them. I'm not going to read through them right now because I tend to do a lot of reading on this channel for some reason. And I don't like reading. And this will be a I messed up button. Press to reset. And no matter at what point you are when doing this, if you feel like you've really, really messed up and you cannot fix it, you'll press this and everything will reset. Aside from that, that's all I have at the moment. So I'm just going to keep going. And you are just going to keep sitting there. I decided to go ahead and finish all the e the uh, editing, all of the uh, decorating. There wasn't much to decorate in here, it's literally just this. I mean, I don't really know what all is in a clean room. I, I mean, I kind of do, but not in, not for a medical clean room. Uh, in here, there really wasn't much left to decorate except for adding a time clock. And um, I think that's it. And then in here, I finished the recovery room. There are a couple beds and they, got, they uh, can sit up or they can recline. I got these curtains in here for privacy. It's all nice and lit. They each have their own nice little painting. No TV because we can't afford that. And here's Eleanor. It's her birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> and here's the laboratory. We have a nice little sand puzzle, some chests that are mostly just for decoration and this cool little head thing that we ha we have events on the server and you can get heads from them this one's what came from a fishing event i don't know what it was called because if at any point you place the head on the ground then it just becomes player head you've got a hopper that does nothing this that will sort of do something just not right now and then different vials of things and stuff and in here, I did do a little bit of decoration. We have some uh, sodium chloride. No, sodium by, by uh, hold on, sulfur dichloride and azulene. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's it's called azulene because it's blue and that's az azul is Spanish for blue. There's not really going to be much in any of these, just kind of some random things. And here, this is the um, walk-in freezer. I haven't done any of this part because I just haven't done any of the redstone yet. And I got this temperature gauge, or what would it be? It's not quite a thermometer. Thermostat, that's what it is. Got a thermostat reading the temperature in here. And coincidentally enough, this was just kind of supposed to be a little hint for what you need in here. And as it turns out, the temperature at which you store blood is around this temperature. So, happy little coincidence. But now I'm going to get started on the redstone part. And I definitely don't have enough redstone on me. And I just realized that I don't have my fortune pickaxe. So, I'm going to have to dip into my redstone reserves up in, or I guess it's at the back of the base. But I'll get to that when I get to it. And real quick, before I get to that, I found a couple of allies, and so I captured them and enslaved them, sort of. I don't think I can... Wait, can I? Nope. Yeah, so... Once you give them an item, I don't think you can have them change what, what they hold, which is really unfortunate, because I didn't actually need them to hold these, I just wanted them. But I didn't have any leads or anything on me at the time because I was just exploring. So, this is what they hold forever. Whether I need them to hold it or not. This one's Tori. This one's Emmy. Anyways, back to what we were doing. I'm kind of having trouble figuring out where exactly I want to start because... 
honestly, the whole thing is just a big mess. I mean, it's like, I get where things are going because I'm the one who built it. But it's just a big spaghetti mess. I don't know if I should just start from the bottom up or pick a specific line and then just work from there. I guess I can start the way I did start it when I actually was designing it. And that's from this point on. Yeah, that might actually be the best option because then everything just kind of goes around from there. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with the combination lock to open the first door. So I'm not going to tell you what the combination lock is because I know that there are a number of people on the server who watch my videos and they're not getting any cheats. Well, that's not good. I'm not certain where he spawned, but he shouldn't have. Do I risk going over there or do I just like go away and let it despawn and then figure out where to put the torches and stuff? I think, I don't know. Oh, I can go up there, I guess. Or I can go right here. Where to go? Wait. Click clack. Nope, there it is. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it went. That's not good. I guess I can go up there and figure out where it could have spawned. Because I know where it's not, and that's not right exactly where it was. Ah, uh, probably over here. The question is, is it still in there? Oh, I can't get a good look. I'm moving my head as if that will make it any better. Okay, I think I just gotta go and go. So that does let a little light bleed through, which I don't love. But I'm just gonna go away and then come back and hope it's gone. Well, I can't tell if it's still there or not. I'll just have to wait for it to all just die. Nope, it's still here. It's still here. It's still here. Go, 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 go. area where it spawned so it can't do it again i'd had multiple well not multiple like two two others which i guess that is technically multiple multiple other mobs spawn while i was building this but i didn't know where exactly they were coming from i guess it was right back there so i just finished the doors and the first mechanism and like i said this is well, I guess I didn't technically say this, but this is not how it's going to be because the people who are on the server that do watch these videos, they're not going to be getting any help from me. So there's going to be three, uh, four of these doors, and this one just opens up this first one so you can get to the clean room, which then leads to the laboratory, which then you do other stuff that eventually opens this door that you can then open that door. Five doors, I can't count, there's five doors. Four doors. There are four doors. I was correct. And the way this works is that it's a combination lock. And I have it set up so that when you press a button, it turns on the lamp and then the lamp stays on. And the way that works is you press the button. It's connected to the opposite side of these pistons. It pushes this down one, 
which is just enough to make these realize, hey, there's a redstone update above me. It pushes these down, which turns these off, turns that on, and keeps the redstone lamp on. And then in the same time it does that, these will come down. And all of these red ones are the wrong answers and the green ones are the correct ones. And so currently I have it set up as three, five, and six. And I have these two connected as one because I don't need multiples for the same thing if they're right next to each other, except for these, I do need it to be the same. And I'll just quickly show you how that works. So it was three, five, and six. And then that opens the door. And usually this would just close back up again, but I have it set up so that the, uh, let me get up there. I have it set up so that there's enough weight being pushed that the piston can still push it. So all of this minus that block there is 12 and then it gets pushed up and then that reaches that block and keeps it up. And then I'll do this. And then you see this piston here that will actually take that block back off so that this can then go back down and close the door once everything resets or if you press the reset button. On to the next door and whatnot. Second puzzle done. Third and fourth puzzles complete. Fifth puzzle complete. Sixth puzzle complete. And last puzzle complete. And now all that's left is to set up the circuit that resets the whole thing once you press the button on the other side of that block. So I just finished up all of the um, redstone for that, oh, except for one thing I need to do real quick. Okay, now I've finished up all the redstone, I, I believe. I haven't actually pressed the button yet because I was afraid of it breaking. And my voice sounds a little weird, and this time I honestly don't know why. I just woke up and I'm assuming it's that. Okay, so there's that, which means... I should be able to press this. Looks like it worked. And I have reset this to be the correct pattern, which means I'm not going to be going over there to show you any of it. And I am going to retrieve my master key so I can get in if I need to help anyone. So all that's left to do is clean this up and change the border of my uh, base claim so that people can actually interact with the stuff here. And then it should be good to go. But that's all I had planned for today. If you guys had fun, consider leaving a like. And if you had a lot of fun, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.